Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Nice video. I wonder if they'll unlock it. But I'm never going to unlock my pasta. Okay, so let's see what are the ingredients for my pasta. Oil, olive oil, salt, bit of onion, some tomatoes, small tomatoes. It's fine if you find bigger ones or ones that are like slightly different. It's fine if they are a little bit acidic. What you really care about is for them not to have too much water in them. You don't want gigantic tomatoes. Uh, or if you do, you might want to not include all their water in the pasta. And I don't know precisely how I would manage that because I haven't done myself, but I understand that you might not have um, at hand uh, easy access to uh, this particular type of tomato. So don't worry, it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. The only thing you have to worry about is for them not to be uh, too full of liquid. Small mozzarellas. These are small, uh, let's say, bites of mozzarellas. I'll show you later how they are inside. And uh, again, if you don't find this particular type, your, the point is it has to be mozzarella, Try for it to be real mozzarella, so don't buy the square, dry things that you can find in some places. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 But at the same time, if it's a big one, you just need to cut it. And this one, for example, I'm gonna cut uh, each of the small pieces in half. So um, other times I found other um, uh, types of mozzarella were even smaller and I didn't even need to, to cut them. So I'm sure you can make do with uh, what you will find. Let's see the pasta. The pasta in this case is strofie. It's a particular type of pasta. And what's interesting about this pasta is that it's a type of fresh pasta. So if we look at the weight, this is 500 grams, that's half a kilo, which is a lot, but that's because this pasta is not dried up. Um, so that's why it seems uh, off if you compare it to other types of uh, dried up pasta. Um, this 500 grams, that's basically work good for two pretty big portions. So a single individual, a single person would eat probably half of this and it would be a very big meal. Um, 
Anyway, final two ingredients. So all you've seen until now, tomatoes, olive oil, trofie, mozzarella, onion. These are uh, pretty traditional ingredients. These are the things that uh, you are used to if you're Italian and you're eating this kind of stuff. Let's add two ingredients that are not exactly traditional, something, something new, something to add on top of a, a tradition that we know works well. Ingredient number one, mice. So corn, I guess. I'm sure this is super easy to find everywhere. 160 grams, including the water that's inside, 140 without the water. So that's more or less your quantity. And that's, that's good for one person. So everything that you're seeing here, these tomatoes are good for one portion. Uh, so for half of the trophy, this is good for one portion. Uh, olive oil, not a whole bottle, in the right amount, same with the salt. Uh, for the onion, we uh, are gonna cut it in half and use probably one and then cut it in half again. So uh, one quarter for each portion. And I will prepare it in two portions, by the way. Uh, final ingredient, versatiles. I'm using here uh, chicken and turkey versatiles, so not pig versatiles. It's a preference, you can use whatever you want. And if you're vegetarian, just don't include this. Without this, the pasta is gonna compile uh, anyway, so don't worry. So, let's get cooking. So, let's clean the onion and cut it in half. If you don't like onion, you might want to use less anyway. If you like onion a lot, you might, you might want to use more. Although, if you're not sure, stick with these portions. This is gonna be one, this is gonna be the other one. I'll cut it in very small pieces. This is more or less the size that you want to cut the onion. Um, you might want it finer, you might want it rougher. It's up to you. I think that's uh, a good balance. That's how I like it. So I'm done with the onions. This goes back in the fridge. And next are tomatoes. I'm going to cut each tomato in four parts. Huh? Next step, mice. Okay, this is a good time to add oil and salt.
Bristols, one pack for each portion. You don't have to be perfect, even if some get cut, it's fine. Okay, we're done with the condiments, I guess, uh, the toppings. Uh, now it's time for the pasta. Cooking time, four to six minutes. Fresh pasta doesn't take a lot of time to cook. So uh, keep that in mind. Let's do it. Non avrete qua nascosta. Mica ci ho fatto, fatto, fatto la provata. Dove è tata? Eh? Sì, è laga. Sì, è laga. L'ha provato. Dove è tata? Sì, è laga. Minchia cosa gli ho fatto. Eh, c'è un altro team. Oppure la ressa. Entrato? No, mia, cosa ho fatto? Nice. The beauty is that the pasta is hot and it's melting a tiny little bit mozzarella. And that's perfect. Another option is either take out a plate or pick up from the bowl. 